What's up, guys? We're gonna be real beats. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use key switches. If you guys have subbed already, I'll turn poison. I'm gonna do so because there's a bit of light. Let's hop right into it. First things first, I'm grabbing a scale. I'm gonna just go with like an A minor, something like default that most people know. Um, and yeah, let's just go ahead. And the first thing we need to do is just actually put down some chords so we can kind of work with um, the key switches. Okay, so now we need a melody so we can do key switches. So the, the speed run version, because I do have specific videos on guitar melodies, but the speed run version is just make a seventh chord. Um, if you don't want to do that, go to stamps. You can place in your seventh like this, okay? Or you can do it manually. Now, the next step, right? And this is like a, a shortcut is you can delete one of these mid notes. Um, I usually delete this one, okay? And then this is pretty much the pattern you want, or you could do the other way. It's up to you, but I'm gonna roll with this. And then typically from here, what you can do is to get a bass note, take this A. And the reason we're taking it from here is so that it's in harmony automatically. Um, we would make a bass note, so make a chord backwards right and we will make a bass note from here and then pull this down an octave okay um and now we're all set up so now all we got to do um is animate this so um how we animate this let me zoom in real quick is you want to do a two i guess beat or step um distance between your notes so this a we can move over to this and then this c we can move over to this and then place another note right here. Okay, and I'm gonna worry about like the realism and stuff after like as far as velocity and length. But right now I just wanna show you this and then we can delete this. Simple as that. And then we can just copy this over, move that. And then really we could just copy this whole entire thing over. And then for the bass notes, um, let me, Kind of make this look a little bit better. Now for our bass notes, you can literally just choose any note that you think sounds good. Um, but if you want to be in harmony, you can just reference what you have. So this G, we can put the G there and then the A, because the A is the root note, so it'll sound good. And then we have that E from our seventh chord, right? So you can use that somewhere over here. Let's like make a chord like right here. Hold shift, click, oh, I guess it doesn't work. Pull that over. And then I'm going to just edit this so it sounds a little bit better. So over here, uh, we can. You can see the bass notes aren't playing. I'll fix that later. But I'll just play it all the way through now. Okay, so that's our melody. I know it took a little longer, but um, we gotta have this before uh, we can go to uh, key switches. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna I'm actually fix this off screen, just kind of fix it up and then we can go into key switches. Okay, so now let's talk about key switches. Um, so I'm gonna just explain kind of what it is. And basically the quick rundown is it's kind of adding the human element of an instrument to your piano roll, okay? Um, so. I chose this one because this is the most like basic, right? Um, as far as like ease, because there are plugins that have a lot of stuff that you can do. You can kind of animate and do a lot of stuff. Um, but this is kind of what you'll see. You'll see different colored keys, okay? Um, so when you see like these red or different colored keys, usually that means that'll change the way that the instrument is played or it'll give you like a legato or a certain way to play it. Um, you'll probably like, if you use stringed instruments like I don't know, uh, session strings, you'll see like staccato and stuff like that. So it's pretty much what this is, but with a guitar or like other instruments, right? So if we go to options and most VSTs now, they should have this where you can kind of choose where you want these to go. Okay, now I just use default just cause it's easier for me. But if you kind of want to map this to like C sharp three, you can, and you can choose which ones you want. I usually don't touch this, it's a little doing too much for me, but I know some people, they probably want to, um, you know, customize it. Um, in other DAWs, this is a lot easier. I know Studio One, you can actually 
map the key switches in the DAW itself so that you can play them on the fly. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the key switches. And this blue, usually like the, the large area will be the playable notes, right? Because on an instrument, there's only so much you can play at a time. So you, that'll kind of help with the realism. Um, so I'll just play it and you'll see it kind of move around and I'll just click stuff. Right, you can see kind of what it does. So that's the key switch. So now let's go ahead and actually make our own key switches. All right, so now we're gonna use our own. Um, so really, you could just go at a certain point, the VST will stop working, right? Right, so at this D sharp, we know we entered the key switch territory. You could play around and see which stuff uh, you like. Um, but for me, I use this VST almost daily, so I kind of know which ones. And the ones I wanna show you are the like ones that strum. Um, so that would be like in this like area here. Um, so say you got to be careful. You got to kind of know where these end and start because it'll change the way that the key switch works. Um, so say if we want to do some here. Right. And then when you change the velocity, it'll change the way that that's played as well. OK. And there's a lot of more advanced stuff that you can do, but I'm just keep it at that. And again, after this, I'll go and like edit it so it sounds better. But for now, we could just keep this here. And then let's try like right here. Let's do like one of these. And if you ever need to check back, you can just go to your VST and check which ones it is. Right. Okay. And then let's just continue. I'm sure y'all get the gist of it. Let's do something like this. Um, and then one thing I want to note real quick is this one is fine, but most VSTs, it needs time to process the change. Um, so you can't have it on the same exact like area as your notes. Okay. So what I like to do, right, is you will hold shift and scroll or just hold alt and drag them back a bit. So the system has time to say, oh, it's switching the, you know, key switch or the play style, right? Okay, um, so I'm gonna continue with this. I think y'all get it. Um, and I'm just kind of finish this out. Do something like that. I'm um, then over here, we could do something very basic. We can, um, let's use maybe this little, thing here then let's offset this a bit let's move this back right, I'm gonna play it it may not sound perfect but Okay, so that is key switches. So now uh, it's pretty much it for the video. What I'm gonna do now is fix this up and then we can add some other instruments just to kind of get a full melody, all right? Okay, so now we have our other instruments. Now I might speed up these parts just for the sake of the time of the video uh, because I already showed you what I wanted to show you. Um, so I'm gonna try to keep it at a decent speed or real time if I can. But this is the piano that I'm using. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just go in, get just starting our route and just add sounds.
okay so that is the piano i probably will speed that up because that kind of took a little too long but let's go ahead and add our bass and we'll be done all right so here's the bass i'm using and this is pretty easy we can just kind of take this right um just paste it here and i'm gonna just kind of edit it and make it sound good how i want it all right so i'm gonna just go ahead and do that Okay, so now real quick, I'll just play the whole thing just one last time all the way through. Um, probably need to mix this a bit, but here we go. Okay, and that is pretty much how you use key switches. That's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed, make sure you got like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.